Hey guys, this is Chandler with Red Arrow Industries. Today I'm going to show you how to create custom music stings in Avid Media Composer. So to get started here, I'll show you the tail end of this sequence it's using the music sting of this song as it is. So if you notice, that music sting doesn't really ring out very much, and it doesn't do a great job of punctuating that final shot. So now let me show you the custom music sting that I've created. So that sounds much better, and it really punctuates that final shot. So let me show you how to do this. So the first step is to apply a deverb effect to that final beat of the song. Now to do this, we're going to create a mix down of that sting. And you may be asking why we don't just cut that and apply the effect directly to the track. And in many cases that would work, but you'll notice there's not a lot of tail on this song. So if we applied the deverb there, it wouldn't actually allow it to ring out very long. So let's go ahead and create that mix down, starting at the cut of the final shot and ending at the end. So we'll go to timeline, mix down, audio, and to sequence. And since this is a stereo song, we'll create a stereo mix down. And then we'll just go ahead and put it on the track right above it. All right, so now with the playhead over the mix down, select the track it's on, deselect the music track, and open up your audio suite window. Within the audio suite window, go to the drop down and select the deverb effect. Then we'll launch the plugin. So now you'll see here several dials and settings and it may look confusing at first, but this plugin has some really good presets. So here you'll see the preset options, and you can choose the room type and then the size. So for example, right now we have it on hall and size large, so we could preview that. And then if you want, you can change the size. So if we made it small, kind of dies out a little quicker. And then if you want, you can change the room. So if we change it to church, see it's kind of rolling like it's a larger room. But I usually just stick to the default, which is hall and the size large. And the only thing I change is the gain level, and I just bump that up to zero. So this is just keeping the same gain level that your input is. So we'll go ahead and render that and click OK. So now let's close out of our audio suite and we'll give this a listen. All right, well that sounds pretty good, but you could take it one step further and add a cymbal crash effect. So I've got a cymbal sound effect loaded up here. We'll listen to that real quick. Let's go ahead and load that into the timeline. And now we'll give it one more listen. And that's pretty much it, guys. If this tutorial was helpful to you, like and subscribe to our channel. If there's any other tutorials you'd like to see, go ahead and put them in the comments. If you'd like to visit us on Facebook, we're at Red Arrow Industries, or you can go to our website at redarrowindustries.com. Thanks for watching.